bum, bum, bum. Good times <laughs> never <laughs> been so good. So good. So good. So good. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to another video. Hope everyone is doing well and that you had a really nice weekend. It is Monday, and... Uh, with the wind chill, it's minus 22 out there. Brr. Yes, the dogs are out running around anyways. Um, Sean is still home. He's on the phone. So I came down to my craft room, but I forgot to shut the door. <laughs> Hopefully you won't hear him in the background. Yeah. Are you guys all ready for Easter? Yeah, it, it'll be here before we know it. All right, let's get into this. So I haven't opened it yet. And uh, I've pulled it up on my computer here so I can share the prices. And then I'm going to hit the price adjustment as well. I'm looking for my scissors that I had right beside me. Hmm. You know, I was just using them. Ta-da! All right. <laughs> oh, we're off to a good start. Get back here. So this whole order cost me $23.60. Now, I hope that these are as nice as what I see on my screen. So I believe there's one, two, three, four, five of them in here. Isn't that funny? Everything is pink, even my scissors. <laughs> I love pink. All right, let's take these out. Woo! One, two, three, four, five. So two, three of them are wrapped like this. Do you know what I got? The other two are rolled in these. And I like keeping these. These are those hard uh, cardboard tubes because you never know for crafting when you're going to need them. All right, let's just start with these ones first. So I don't even know if I'm starting at the one that I, uh, that I have on my screen here. So what they are, they're supposed to be prints. What do they say here? Oil painting prints on canvas. So I hope that these look really nice. I bought them to frame for my living room. Some of you may have seen the, the horse that I have framed up there. So I plan to take these with me to the thrift store and hopefully find some... Uh, some frames. So here's the first one. Ooh, it's pretty. So what I did is I went with horses. Because you know, we live on a farm. And I don't want a real horse. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Wow, it looks just like the photo. So this one was $2.96. Sorry, it's rolled up. Isn't that beautiful? All right, so that's the first one. I'll have to flatten them out and show Sean after the haul. <laughs> and let's see this one. So I'll tell you, if I hit the price adjustment though, it might mess up my prices here. We'll do it after. So I'm just showing you what I paid for them. Oh yeah, this one's a beauty too. This one cost me $3.39. This one's beautiful and it got a little dog in the corner. Isn't that beautiful? I love them. Sorry, I can't hold them up very good. So that's that one. These are good little bags to keep too if you're sending out some friend mail. And I need to do a giveaway. I have it all ready. I was hoping to reach 1,500 subscribers so that uh, I could do a giveaway. I like how they wrap them. This tape is just like uh, masking tape. It's not going to destroy them. Ooh, I love this one. These are going to look so nice. I think they're all the same size which is 12 by 16 inch or 30 by 40 centimeters. 
I should bring that sticker with me. But anyway, if you go to the thrift store, it doesn't say what size it is anyways. Look at this one. Now this one cost me $3.39. Isn't that beautiful? I love these. They are really good quality. They sure are. An oil painting on canvas. Oh, it's got some. Look. Really nice. All right, that was the three out of these. And two were rolled like this. And these ones are 16 by 12, 12 inch. They're all the same size, which is nice because if I put them on the wall, I can uh, put them one on top of the other. Kind of like what I did with the, um, the cat one that I got. So the, this one's packaged up like this. I just have to push it through. There's no tape on this one. Oh, this one is beautiful too. How much did this one cost? Oh, this one cost me $8.44. So this was the most expensive one and I don't know why. Yeah, I think Timu is kind of like uh, Amazon where it's different people selling. You'll love this one if I can get it unrolled here. Look at that one. All the dogs running down at the bottom. No, that's not even going to work. Can you guys see it? It's beautiful. There you go. All the dogs are running. That was the most expensive one. And there's one more. So. I guess I went a little crazy with the horse prints. Same, whoa, same idea, but this one's falling out. Is this the same size? Yep, 16 by 12. There's another beautiful one. So when I get them all framed up and onto the wall, I will share them with you guys. I could almost just put them up on, um, kind of glue them to canvas, but I think they're going to look better in nice frames there's this one this one's got a couple of dogs down there and this one was two dollars and 88 cents aren't they beautiful i love them they're gonna look so good in our living room all right so we gotta flatten them all out so that all totaled with tax 23.60 um, okay, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to hit price adjustment. Oh, we got some refunds. Yep. All right, let's start with the first one so you can see them all again. I'm going to go down in order of how they are. There's that, that. Was it this one? Oh, which one was it? Hmm, this was the first one. Okay, so I could have hit it. This one I paid $3.31 and they gave me $0.08 cents back because it is $3.39 right now. That one, look, these are beautiful for the price. And then I got a refund on all of them. The one that was just the horse, this one... I paid two eighty nine. Oh, sorry, I paid two ninety six, and it's two eighty nine right now. So they they gave me seven cents back on this one. But you know what? Every penny counts. This one was next. Uh, I paid three thirty nine. This one is now three nineteen with uh, 20 cents back. So I got 20 cents back. So when you receive your orders, always go back into your account and you will see that price adjustment. Just hit it. Whether there's a price adjustment or not, it will let you know. Uh, this one, I got 85 cents back because I paid 844 
And it is now $7.59. So they gave me 85 cents back on that one. And I think this one is one of my favorites. I wish I could show you as better. I don't know. What if I hold this up against it? If I do this and this, it might be nice. And yeah, I, I don't understand why this one was so expensive, but I love it too. All right, hold on. We're almost there. Ta-da! How's that? That works better, doesn't it? It's really, really nice. I love these. I wonder if they do bigger ones. The last one, uh, I paid $288. The current price is two seventy one, dollars so they gave me back $0.17. Cents. These are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I wish you guys could see the quality of them. Very nice. I am very pleased with Timu selling those. So my total refund was $1.37. That's not too bad, is it? Let me get a sip of water here. It gets so dry. Mm. Yeah, so um, just type in, uh, they're called frameless canvas wall art and whatever you want, like a horse, whatever you want, um, punch, punch it in and you'll find it. And remember this little blue top that I thrifted and it's a size small and I said it probably won't fit me. Well, there you have it. It fits, isn't it pretty? And then I just put the navy cardigan over it. So, sorry daughter, if you're watching, it fits mom. <laughs> yeah, anyways, um, that's all I have for you today. Oh, 12 minutes, yeah. So, not sure what's going on the rest of the week. Sean is probably leaving tomorrow and he'll be back sometime on the weekend, hopefully. They don't make them sit uh, on Good Friday. It's just the way it goes. Normally on the holidays, like Good Friday or Good Easter weekend, we would um, try and get a load to Ontario and spend it with family, but that's not gonna happen this year. No, but we'll FaceTime with them, yeah. So that is it. That is my very small Timu haul. I haven't made any orders since, but I have a whole shopping cart full. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I started to do that home uh, diamond art, so I'm almost finished. I think I got three. I don't know how you guys do it, but I do it by color, so I have three more to do. Yeah. Well, that's it. I hope you have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your week. Let's hope that this uh, weather warms up so we can have some spring weather. I'm in the planting uh, mode. And you know what? I'll go up and show you as my plants. Our kitchen is overgrown with plants. All our peppers and they're growing peppers too. So yeah, I'll add that onto here. And um, so stay tuned, watch my garden. But in the meantime, take care and have a great week. Bye for now. Stay tuned for the garden. <laughs> All right, I'm starting off with our green onions. They're looking a little sparse because we have been using them all winter long. And uh, they were delicious. So we've planted some more in there. They'll start to grow as well. And beside it is our shamrock that we have had for eight years now. It's looking beautiful. And then we're gonna come over here and I've got this beautiful plant. These are all peppers. So look at the size of the pepper on it already. And then this little guy's got a couple of peppers. This one, we've already taken a yellow pepper off it and there's two more growing. They're not very big, but the sun will help them now. And then down there, this little guy has two peppers here and a big pepper right down here. Maybe I'll have to put a stake in. Can you guys see that? Isn't that amazing? Whoops. And then there's this guy that's flowering. It's got flowers going in there. Now, I did have the stakes in them to tell us what kind of peppers they were, but they don't look like they're in them anymore. This is our celery. Look at our celery. And we've been using this all winter, too. So just cutting it back, and I use the leaves in soups. 
And then this is uh, one of my Christmas cactus plants that I'm, it's a new one that I repotted. These are all peppers. So this one's got a little flower starting. Where is it? Right there. And, and this guy was dying off, but he's got some new growth. So we're just gonna leave him and see what happens. And then there's these. Now these are Sean's hot peppers. So there's a couple growing on that plant. And if we come over here, this was his, uh, what did you call those? Mad Hatters? Mad Hatters? Yeah, these are his Mad Hatters, the hot ones. So he's got one there. He's got one in here. I see a little ladybug on it. Oh, what? And it's got flowers. And then down below, I started another uh, Christmas cactus. These three have nothing in them. I just got to clean them up. And that's another little house plant. So we have room now for uh, planting more seeds. I'm going to get those ready. I'll probably put them on the kitchen table behind me here. And yeah. Look at our little garden. This is a west facing window. So if you wanna grow a garden and you have a west facing window, you can grow yourself a little garden year round. Yeah, it's lots of fun. And that's the bench for uh, the hound dogs. They love to sit on their bench while we're sitting at the table. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my video, and I'll catch us all on the next one. Bye for now. And for dinner tonight is some homemade chicken Alfredo. And a glass of wine. And I got some water with lemon. And I got Max and Rosie here in the stroller beside me. Because that's what they like to do. <laughs> Caroline, bum, bum, bum. Good times never been so good. So good. So good. So good. So good.